Pringles? Have you ever wondered how Pringles are made? Today, we're diving into the mystery behind those uniquely shaped, deliciously flavored potato chips that have taken the world by storm. Pringles, with their iconic canister packaging and saddle-shaped chips, have been tantalizing taste buds since the late 60s. But their creation is not as simple as slicing up a spud. The journey from potato to Pringle is filled with fascinating steps and processes. Well, the process is quite fascinating and not as simple as you might think. So, what goes into making Pringles? Well, it all starts with a list of simple ingredients that come together to create that iconic snack. At the heart of it, we have dried potatoes. They provide the base flavor and starchy texture that we all associate with Pringles. Then comes the vegetable oil, giving our Pringle chip its smooth and crispy finish. Rice flour and wheat starch are also key players, adding structure and bite to each chip. Maltodextrin, a type of sugar, is added for a hint of sweetness, balancing out the savory notes. And of course, we can't forget salt. It's the ingredient that amplifies all the other flavors and gives Pringles their addictive quality. Each component plays a crucial role in creating the unique Pringle experience. The perfect blend of flavors and textures that make up a Pringle chip. Now that we know what's in them, how do these ingredients become the Pringles we know and love? It all starts with a dough, believe it or not. You see, the real magic happens when the carefully selected ingredients are blended together in a perfect harmony. Every ingredient plays its part in this symphony of tastes, each with a unique role contributing to the final masterpiece. This blend is then mixed with water, forming our main protagonist, the dough. But this isn't just any dough. It's a smooth, pliable mixture that holds the promise of those iconic crisps we all know and love. The dough is then rolled into a thin layer, as delicate as a sheet of paper. It's a process that requires precision, patience and a keen eye. Each roll of the dough is a step closer to the final product, a step closer to those perfect Pringles. This thin layer of dough, though, doesn't look like Pringles yet, so how do they get their shape? The secret to Pringles' unique shape? A mould. Yes, indeed, it all begins with a carefully crafted mould that's responsible for the iconic Pringles saddle shape we all know and love. Once the dough has been mixed and rolled out into a thin layer, it's then cut into a succession of ovals. These ovals are not random, but a carefully calculated size, designed to fit snugly within the cylindrical Pringles can. Next, these oval cutouts of dough are pressed gently into the mould. The mould is a thing of beauty, a perfectly curved saddle shape that gives Pringles their unique stackable form. The dough is guided into the mould in a delicate dance of pressure and precision, ensuring each chip will be identical to the one before it. The moulding process is a spectacle in itself. Each piece of dough, once flat and featureless, is transformed into a three-dimensional object of crispy delight. The transformation is quick, efficient and mesmerising to behold. Once moulded, the chips are then given a moment to rest, allowing the dough to settle into its new shape to hold its form when it's time for the next step. This pause is crucial, a small but significant part of the process that ensures each Pringle will hold its shape during the cooking process. But they're not quite ready yet, they still need to be cooked. And that, my friends, is a tale for the next scene. Stay tuned to learn about the cooking process that turns these molded pieces of dough into the crispy, delicious Pringles we can't resist. After shaping, it's time for cooking. Now the fun truly begins. Our Pringles-to-be embark on their voyage into the frying machine, a place where magic happens. Picture this, a roller coaster ride, but instead of people, it's our beloved chips. And instead of thrills, it's all about the taste. As they whiz through the frying machine, a transformation begins. The heat does a splendid job, crisping them up to perfection. It's a delicate dance of temperature and time, a symphony of heat that gives them that oh-so-satisfying crunch. This isn't just cooking, it's culinary artistry, where every second counts. The heat also bestows upon them their iconic golden hue. It's like watching a sunrise, but instead of the sun, it's our chips, and instead of the sky, it's the frying machine. The chips start pale and unassuming, but as they cook, they take on that familiar comforting color we all know and love. It's not just about looks though. The cooking process is crucial for flavor too. 
The heat brings out the potato's natural sweetness, creating a depth of flavor that's simply unmatched. It's a delicate balance, a game of precision and patience, but the result is well worth the wait, and just like that, our journey through the fryer ends. Our chips have been transformed, now bearing that signature Pringles crunch and golden glow. Now, they look like Pringles, but there's one final step. The final step, flavoring and packaging. As our crisps emerge golden and crisp from the oven, they are still not quite the Pringles we know and love. The secret to that distinctive taste lies in the flavoring process. Each chip is tumbled in a large revolving drum, not unlike a clothes dryer, if you will. As they're tossed and turned, a fine mist of seasoning is sprayed over them, ensuring an even distribution of flavor. This process is done meticulously to ensure each chip is uniformly coated, because who wants a chip that's only half flavorful? Now, onto the packaging. The iconic Pringles canister isn't just a novelty, it's a necessity. Each canister is designed to protect the delicate, uniformly shaped chips from breakage. The chips are stacked neatly into these cans, one on top of the other, a process that is as mesmerizing to watch as it is efficient. Ever wonder why Pringles cans have that foil-lined interior? It's not just for aesthetics. This lining serves a crucial purpose, to keep the chips fresh and crunchy, ensuring that every time you pop open a can, you're greeted with the same satisfying crunch. So from a simple potato dough to the signature curved chip, seasoned to perfection and neatly stacked in a distinctive canister, the journey of a Pringle is truly a marvel of modern food engineering. And there you have it. That's how Pringles are made. So to recap, the journey of a Pringle begins with a mix of simple ingredients transformed into dough. The dough is then shaped into those familiar curved chips cooked to perfection, flavoured and finely packaged. Next time you pop open a can of Pringles, you'll know exactly how they're made. Quite a journey, isn't it?